In this tournament where you have men's and you have juniors and you have cadets, a lot of the players are younger players, and uh, they've met several times. Yesterday, Grant Lee did play James Pentea, and Grant Lee won in a very closely contested match. So it's tight, number four versus number five in this tournament. They've already played each other once, so we'll see if Grant Lee can prevail again or whether James Pentea has figured something out about Grant Lee and can find a way to eke out a victory here. Well, certainly the psychological advantage will go to, go to Grant for so recently you know, beating him. But, but I tell you, here again, Pentea is a very skilled player. I've seen him play quite a lot here uh, this year here in Perry. And uh, you'll see just like that shot right there, the half block. Very, very good control. He has very, very good command of the hand and the racket, and he puts the right amount of touch on it as well. Mm -hmm. More so than most of the players that can actually uh, you know, unfurl the big loop. Right. Yeah, Grant Lee's very, very quick around the court. He's a uh, slender young man, quick feet, getting very, very strong as he gets a little bit closer to leaving his teenage years, and Pentea, uh, not quite as quick on his feet, but very, very muscular. Big swing on the ball, especially with the forehand. Lots of power. That serve got away from Grant. You don't know whether it might have caught the edge of his racket and sailed sideways. But again, good serve by Pentea. Opening up a little too aggressively on that well-controlled serve return by Grant. Tied at three, shaping up to be a close match. Yep. There's Grant Lee taking a backhand wide to Pentea, and Pentea had to stretch for it a little bit instead of move over to get in position. Didn't quite have enough time. Oh, yep. Grant Lee takes advantage of the short return a little bit high and just paces it down the line. Again, Pentea left-handed, favoring his forehand a lot. Leaves a lot of open court potential for Grant on that forehand side. Over the table flip by Pentea. And again, Grant Lee taking advantage of that wide open space down Pentea's forehand. Another Cho master. Grant will sit there and uh, again get right into the emotions of the game and the match and express it, and he's not afraid to do so. And Patea that time having to loop three and four and five shots to finally get a ball fast enough to beat Grant's reflexes on the block. Yep. Grant just has very quick acceleration, a little bit shorter stroke than Pentea on his offense. And Grant reloads so quickly. It's one forehand shot and he's ready for the next one almost immediately. Very good anticipation. Yep. Grant's checking out the squeakability of the floor, taking a little extra time. Good quick backhand. Pentea went right at Grant's body, and Grant just opened up that reverse pinhole backhand. Right back at Pentea, won the point. Yep. Oh, really nice spin from down low by Pentea. Yeah. Grant tried to block it in the spin. 
overwhelmed his uh, racket angle. Going a little long. Grant still holding on to that two-point lead. Missed that one, though. That's point number 10 for Grant Lee. Somehow, even with uh, Pentea's forehand stance, Grant, Grant found his backhand for Sierra. serving now with two opportunities to close out the game, leading 10-8. There it is. Oh, good serve right into the body. Made Pentea choose the backhand, and the spin made the ball sail along. Very good deception by Grant Lee late in the game. And Grant's being able to open up a little bit of offense himself and keep James Pentea fairly tentative on his offense. That means yeah. Grant's having good ball control, changing the spin, making Pentea a little hesitant and uncertain about what to do. And Grant was able to take advantage pulling out that first game. Oh, if you give Pentea the opportunity, he'll put it in cruise control before you know it. I mean, I, I agree with you completely. Grant Lee doing an outstanding job just trying to control the pace of the game, putting it into his favor, picking and choosing the points that he wants to really go for. And in this case, it worked out for him. Well, he's taken very good uh, opportunities to take uh, aggressive action, but he's not doing it on low percentage shots. He's taking some of those forehands straight down the line uh, into the open court of Pentea's forehand, making Pentea have to take a half a step to get to the ball. And uh, if he's moving and trying to make that motion, Pentea's just not as good as Grant Lee at moving and then coming up with a big shot during the movement. Grant's way more talented at that. But Pentea, if he starts getting a little more aggressive, he's got really big shots. And if you can get Grant Lee passive blocking, Pentea is one of those players that if he gets a little momentum going, he can just come down on you like an avalanche. Yep. So Grant Lee being very good to keep the points under control, the shots under control, and taking being aggressive when he when he has the opportunity, but not doing it too much so. We'll see how game two starts to shape up here. Grant lead to serve. So Pentea got in that first, first big forehand. And these wins both of Grant serves. Interesting and little again. deceptive move there by Grant Lee. He implied that he was going to loop at the last minute, comes in with a chop block or push block, I guess I should say. Moving the ball around well. Yep. Playing pretty aggressive. And Pendaya did a good job there getting that yep. Yep. lucky shot back, but Grant was able to finish the point off. That was a nice shot yeah. there by Pendaya. Yeah, it kind of slides across the ball with uh, his serve return sometimes, which adds a little bit of Side spin. spin. Some yeah. people have trouble handling it, but I think uh, Grant saw what was what was coming up, and reacted correctly to it. You know, again, I think James's ability to really control the racket movement of his hand and the racket there. He's just got such quick and, and, and gentle touch. I guess that's what I'm really mm -hmm. saying. A gentle touch at the ball. Yeah, well, up close to the table on serve returns, you have to have that, yep. that touch and control and be able to read the spin. But you have to be able to also just explode with the yeah. uh, aggression when you get an opportunity because if you don't, the other player will. 
Oh, that's easy. Just get married, Jim. Oh. But <laughs> don't. <laughs> Right now, Penteo's opened up a 5-2 to two lead, so we'll see if he uh, can keep this momentum rolling. Very there's, nice forehand. There's that there. big shot by yeah. Penteo when he has a little bit of time to get yeah. in position for the ball. He can put a lot of muscle behind it. Absolutely. That was a really good forehand by Grant Lee, and Pentea managed to hop over there and just counter the ball almost right off the bounce. Got back on Grant Lee a little too quick. Mm -hmm. Grant doesn't seem focused as he was in the first game. I mean, it's hard. It's really hard to say. Maybe Pentea is just just taking it to him a little differently. Yeah, you never know whether when uh, one player takes advantage, whether uh, one player is not playing as well or whether the other player is yeah. forcing the, yeah. uh, the action a little more and putting you back on your heels. But the difference in who comes out sometimes is very, very subtle, hard to pick up. Well, that one went right through the defense that time. Yeah, something changed the timing on it a little bit. Yep. One thing Pentea has been doing here that he did is his over the table open off a serve. He's been able to wrist flick the ball back into Grant just very quickly. And, uh, and Cuts down the time that the opponent has to react to the ball. So he's been doing much better with his over-the-table serve return this game than he did the first time. He's not being as passive as he was in game one. Um, but there's the shot that Grant Lee has, again, going to the open court of Pentea. And Pentea almost looked like a statue watching the ball go by, just not... Very good movement, but the shot's very yep. aggressive and strong, and Pentea prevails 11-5 to five in game two. This Thank one's got the makings to be a five-game match here. Yeah, it looks like we just see who gets out to, uh, to the advantage. Pentea, I think, just has much more power, and if he can get the points initiated to his advantage, he can make the next ball just a winner. Grant Lee's yep. has to kind of relentlessly spin and spin and block and spin. And Pente is more of a one-shot blast the ball and win, win the point. And Grant Lee has to work the points a little more, I think, before he can come out on top most of the time. So it's a very strategic uh, game. Pente relying more on his serve return aggression and one shot. Grant Lee trying to work the points around and play the court and move the ball around and eventually be able to win the points. Makes you wonder what head coach Stefan Feth's telling Grant Lee right now on what he needs to do to handle the, the, the game of James Pentea. Well, he's going to have to uh, just play steady, take, uh, take the uh, aggressive shots when he has uh, – the opportunity and not let any opportunities go by. The main thing both of them have to do is to not miss their shots when they have an opening, even as small as it is. Like that one? I don't know if Pentea for, forced, forced <laughs> yeah. the, uh, the action on that, maybe yeah. got a little bit of a break on an edge. Quick jam to Pendea's backhand, pays off for Grant Lee. There you go, Pentea trying to be a little aggressive on, yeah. on the serve and flipped it long. 
looked like a very easy miss, but he was trying to pursue his own strategy of being aggressive early and hoping that it pays off for him. help during that point. Several touch shots up at the net and Pentea finally getting an opening that he took advantage of. Yep. Oh, the net dribbler got him. Little, little net help, help again. Grantley almost got up to it, but it's very hard to read the spin. Sometimes it comes off the net loaded with spin. Other times the net takes the spin off. And you just have to take a guess. And that time, Grant Lee was a little bit off calibration. I can tell you that time, very good backhand counter. Made Grant Lee stretch out a little more than he was comfortable doing. Um, Grant Lee was trying to spin the ball. Pentea was trying to do more of a flat hit. And that time, Pentea's power got a little on top of Grant Lee. So Pentea up by a couple. Uh, Grant Lee sails that one long and high. A little bit of a change up. Pentea served that ball long and hard at Grant Lee instead of trying to keep it short. Yeah, big point here. Grant Lee really needs this. Oh, too far. Can tell you a really good spin on that backhand loop to Grant Lee. I think maybe Grant was expecting something a little more conservative off of Pentea's backhand. Yep. Very nice there. set of loops there by There's James Pentea. There's his power taking advantage. He's ready in a little better position. Well, Pentea's is controlling this game. There's no question about it. Mm -hmm. Well, that one's too high, though. Well, Grant Lee's serve made Pentea push the ball instead of try to flip it. And uh, so that was a little passive return from Pentea, and Grant Lee just loop the ball with heavy spin down the forehand. And Pentea still up four. Good hands by Grant Lee. That time he wasn't trying to loop the ball as much as just block it and keep it back in play. But again, when Pentea wins a point, it's usually one shot. That time Grant Lee had to block three before he got the point. Pentea's ball goes long, so Grant Lee's got a couple in a row here to get within striking distance, maybe at 6-8. If there's a time to catch up, now's it. For this game, you're absolutely right. Very nice. Good effort by both players, but Grant Lee getting the last one in. And it's timeout time. For Pentea this time, again, players pretty much taking a timeout late in the game when they have a big lead. The other player starts to close the lead. You take the timeout to try to change the momentum or make the other player think about what they're doing instead of doing it out of just subconscious reaction. Make them wake up a little bit and be worried about being behind and come back, and maybe you can take advantage of it. You also get a chance to get some words of wisdom from your coach. See if he can give you the right piece of advice to consolidate the lead that you still have, even though it's been shrinking. It looks like Pentea wanted to take the full measure of the one-minute timeout this time. 
Maybe he's trying to ice Grant Lee. Maybe. If that's possible, that's a good idea. Both coaches having good exchanges with their players. And so Grant Lee trailing by one still has the serve. Let's see if Pintea's time hour is gonna work for him. He does have the lead. The worst that can happen on this serve is Grant Lee will tie it and then Pintea will have two serves. And Pintea a little bit went for the control shot underspin to Grant Lee's body off the serve return instead of trying to flip it. And then Grant Lee went for an aggressive shot that missed. So Pintea's up 9-7. Yeah. Uh, Too quick little, for Grant Lee on that one. Uh, over the table flip right at the body of Grant Lee. Game point now. Pintea serving. Oh, that's good. So. Good play. So, Pentea finishes the game in straight points. Up 11-7 in the third. So, Pentea taking a two-game to one lead. So, it looks like Grant Lee is the one that needs a little more advice at this point in time. Yep. Okay, Grant Lee getting the first point in this fourth game. Make that the first two points. Looks like he's energized and charged up here. Now that one, Pente able to put that right through Grant on that shot for him to get on the scoreboard now. One serving two.
And that one popped off the end of the table. A little bit too much topspin for Grant, so the score's tied up here, 3-3. Three to three. James gets the net dribbler on that one. A little bit of a break for him, bringing it back to 4 4. That lay pretty quick hands on that counter loop. Yep. It's a little exercise retrieving the ball. Yeah. We're back in play here. Grant up 5 4. Nice return there by James Pentea. Yeah, again, being a little aggressive on the serve, flipping the ball. Backhand loop into Pentea's body. Recently, both players have been making just one good shot at the other player and winning the point with it. Not many long rallies here. Oh, that's nice. a fabulous. Very nice. Misdirection. That's what you can do with an underspin push. I've been trying to do things like that for 40 years. This is from the Meister of pushing. Yeah, but Grant Lee just showed his perfection right then. Yep. His excellent serve return. So he's up 7-5 with two of his own serves. See if he can break this game open. There's one. I can tell you again, tried the thing that's been working for him the last couple of games is flipping or opening a little bit aggressively on the serve, but that one went long. Grant Lee again, He's quick, on fire. Quick, yep. quick block, cross court to Pentea's wide forehand. Again, that's the Achilles heel in Pentea's game, at least in this match. Just covering that forehand. Very nice short ball over the net there. Perfect timing. And so Grant Lee is, looks like he's gonna pull this match even at two games to two. But not with a missed service flip like that. Figure he had a few extra opportunities, just take a chance. Oh, that's a great yep. backhand counter by Pentea. Absolutely. He st stuck with it and carried it out till the end. That time, Pentea took advantage of the open court on Grant Lee's side. Now 10-7, Grant Lee can feel a little pressure building. He's lost a couple of points, one that he sort of threw away. Yeah, he needs this one. No, nope, and it's and, not going to happen. And Pentea again with a little aggressive move on the serve return. Now Pentea has two serves. Grantley. It looks like it's timeout time. And this time for Grantley. Yep. Gather his composure a little bit. He's I'd say lost, that's a good timeout. Lost four points in a row. Lost four game points in a row. Even though he's still got a lead, 
It's time to get your intensity all put together in one small tight package and try to use it to finish out this game. Got a little Cavalier, especially at that 10-4 10 10 point, I believe. Maybe it was the 10-5. Trying to flip a backhand in. Really a low percentage shot. Yeah, I might have called this timeout a point or so ago. But it is what it is at this point. That's correct. So players back. Grant Lee's timeout finished. Pentea, two serve opportunities to pull this game out. There's one. Amazing comeback by James Pentea in this game. It's what, five in a row, I believe? At least five, five or six. And Grant Lee's under pressure because Pentea gets to deuce. He's got the match almost in his pocket. Well, at least at that point, he'd be serving, though. <coughs> But yes, it's time to get a break and get this game over with. He's got to be thinking, what can I do? There it is. That's what you got to uh, do. Yeah, there you go. Very nice point, giving the game to Grant Lee. Pulling the match even, Pente made, made a game effort from 10-4 or 10-5 down to get back to nine, but fell just a little bit short. And we're back to the final game in this match. Pente to serve in the fifth. Oh, good ball by Grant Lee. Strong loop right down the center line of the table. taking a little uncharacteristic big league swing at that forehand and it pays off for him. Grant Lee clearly coming out being a little more offensive and aggressive oriented in this game. Leading two to one. I had to reach over the table and while he was moving left and he threw that ball long. So from up 2-0, now it's two all. Grant Lee won two straight points off Pentea's serve. Then Pentea won two straight points off Grant Lee's serve. So we haven't had a service hold yet in this game. Until then. Again, Grant Lee taking some more aggressive strokes. That one was a 
a little bit more risky shot than perhaps he should have. That's what Grant Lee needs is some more of those. Well, good countering point there. Grant coming out on top. Looks like Grant Lee is having to use the opening offense to try to stay even with Pentea and keep Pentea off the, off the offensive. Good point by yep. Grant Lee. Again, the relentless offense finally got Pentea off the table. Grant Lee still had to hit three big offensive shots with Pentea back to finally break through and win the point. Usually if Pentea is in that position, it only takes him one shot to win it. The top of the net. There's Pentea taking a little bit of offense, got a little lucky break, and finally pulled that point out. 4-4. Four, four. One more point, and we'll change ends. Pentea taking that aggressive shot again. Pays off. The players switch sides now in this fifth and deciding game. James Pentea with a one-point advantage and has the serve. Grant Lee having to pull out all the stops, really going for very strong, aggressive shots. Oh, he's served the ball, just caught the edge of the table. Very uncharacteristic service miss for either player. Very characteristic for me, though. That could be why we're here speaking and they're out there playing. I think so. so anyway, still a very tight game, 6-5 to five in favor of Pentea. Grant Lee, second serve. Good serve by Grant Lee. He did something there we hadn't seen before because Pentea misread that big time. Yeah. So yeah. Grant Lee pulled out a super secret one out of the stockpile there, bringing it to 6-6. Six, six. Just a bit long. Yeah, Grantley tried that uh, push wide to Pentea's forehand again. He uh, last game he did one of those and just won the point outright. And once again, Pentea's ready when he sees it the second time. So both players' learning curve very, very short. Make a mistake one time, not so much again. Grantley coming back gets captures that point seven to seven here in the fifth. Yeah, Pentea being a little more tentative. Grant Lee uh, looped that first ball. Pentea just sort of held his racket out and guided it back instead of taking a counter looping swing at it. So uh, Grant Lee is taking the chances, and so far it's paying off for him. But Pentea is still staying right even with him. Pentea again, that over the table serve return flip for the aggressive shot, opening up right into Grant Lee's body. And that strategy has paid off for Pentea here in the last couple of games, just being a little more aggressive on the serve return. There it is. 
good one. Good serve by Grant Lee. Got a little bit of a high return, and Grant Lee, again, not able to smash the ball, but just spin it very severely and very fast, and Pentea couldn't control that combination. I suspect this is going right down to the wire here. Big all server should have the advantage. We'll see. Rushed it a little bit. Grantley did a nice job looping that first ball. It was very, very close to the end line, and he judged it correctly and was able to get the loop, but just not enough spin on it to bother Pentea. Pentea now a chance to go up 10-8, and then Grant Lee would have to dig himself out of the hole. So Grant, both players need this point very badly. And Pentea picks up the big forehand. Grant Lee tried to go back to his body, but Pentea quick enough that time to take a step to his backhand and open up with a forehand. And all of a sudden we have match point. For Pentea of Canada. Grant Lee serving. Pentea trying to draw this team match into a tie with the U.S. as Adam Hugh taking the first match. So Pentea two chances to level the team tie. Really good forceful play by Grant Lee, but again, mostly spin dominated instead of the smashes by Pentea, but Grant Lee able to get Pentea back from the table. Time to pull out that secret serve now from the Ninja Dojo here, Jim. Yeah, we never know. We'll see what happens. But again, Grant Lee taking three and four aggressive shots to be able to get a point away from Pentea. If Grant Lee gives one little opportunity, Pentea may finish it with one shot. So we'll see if Grant Lee has the consistency to get himself back to deuce here, or get himself to deuce in this game. And it's tied. Oh, he did it. Pentea, he made the right shot. He just hit that forehand about a half inch too low at the net and it fell back. Deuce in the fifth. So Grant Lee responding to the pressure coming back from two match points down. We're at Deuce in the fifth. Doesn't get any tighter than this. Pentea, two really good spin shots. Grant Lee's block went a little bit too long there. If you take the aggressive move and it lands, you're a hero. And if you take the aggressive move and miss it, you're not. So Grant Lee now trying to stare down the third match point against him. I would expect James Pentea to be very aggressive on this. Let's see what happens. fourth ball. Oh, oh what a, what a serve. <laughs> he pulled I, it out of the vault, just like I said. That's right. He, <laughs> he went for the super secret serve and drove a straight hard topspin. Way to that open forehand court of Pentea from the back corner. Just a brilliant, brilliant serve. I'm going to need to teach Grant the chicken wing backhand serve. Could be. That was a great one. 11 to 11, game five. Look at that, tides are turned. And Grant Lee went back at Pentea's body. Pentea again, taking that offensive backhand loop, but it missed that time. First time he was a hero, this time, not as much. So Grant Lee now with his first match point. I'm sensing a big game. show here coming on, Jim. What we'll do you see. Think? We'll see. We'll see. Well, we're kind of rooting for the U.S., so we'll keep our fingers crossed under the table here. <laughs> oh, couldn't do it. 
What, a, what great composure, though, by James Pentea. To keep that ball alive, be patient, bringing it back to 12-12. Pentea seems to be sticking pretty much to that same little pendulum service motion. Uh, it's the same serve every time, but it's one that you can't do anything with except push it back. And Pentea hits it long. Advantage Grant Lee. And so Pentea served that same serve. He's been serving just over and over and over relentlessly. Grant Lee again had to push it. And Pentea didn't, Grant Lee's control serve return, didn't give Pentea the opening that he wanted. So we're back to another match point for Grant Lee on his own serve. There it is. Oh, Grant Lee pulls out another match over James Pentea. Just a fantastic comeback at the end by Grant Lee. Both players played just an outstanding, excellent match. They certainly did. And so the U.S. takes a two-game, two-match to zero. Lee.